1997, City Council passed legislation to create a Percent for the Arts program, which allows 1% of the cost of a construction project to be used for site-specific art. And we are so lucky today to have uh, David Spears, one of our project, as our artist for this project. A little background on the artist. David Spear received his BFA from the University of Missouri, St. Louis, and his MFA in painting from the University of Missouri, Columbia. As a resident of Columbia since 2000, David has works on display throughout the city and has previously collaborated with the Office of Cultural Affairs on works at the Wabash Bus Station, Jefferson Middle School, and the very first traffic box at 9th and Broadway. The selection committee was inspired by David's body of past work, experience in public art, and also his design concept. He set out to create a work of art that collaborated with the community and also took into consideration the purpose of this building and the building's architecture. So now I'd like to invite the artist, David Spear, to come up and say a few words. Well, the main goal of this installation was to work in harmony with the field house in its purpose of testing the boundaries of physics and gravity that exist on this delicate global spacecraft we call Earth. That's why we have basketball. <laughs> um, so the whole idea is you come in, you see the clock, it's time to play ball, you have your opposing sides, and before you enter, you've got your one main goal and your focus to work on. Uh, thanks to those who made public suggestions, some real positive improvements uh, were made to the design by addressing those suggestions. A lot of you probably don't know this, but basketball was one of my biggest passions as a kid, and I practiced all the time in the backyard. Uh, the problem was, is that my grace, acceleration, and vertical leap were that of a Walmart shopping cart. Um, but it was, uh, you know, if I had become the next John Stockton, I wouldn't be here. And so, failure is part of the process. And it, uh, it doesn't come without pushing your ability and taking risk. And I'm very proud to be here and part of this process. This is like a childhood dream come true. And so I want to thank, thank you to my family, all the members of the community, and my friends that have supported me throughout the years. Thank you.